Finally, in this small chapter, I want to show you how we're going to set up our environment for all of the other lectures when we start learning the APIs. And on top of that, we also want to understand the difference between SCSS and SAS. The first thing we need is an editor and an open source free editor for OS X, Windows and GNU is Atom. So if you go to atom.io, you can download this program for free. Also, the source code is available for you to edit and modify, and it was created under the MIT license by GitHub. So this is a fantastic editor, and we're going to be using this throughout the entire course. Once you have completed the installation of Atom, we'd like to launch it and take a look at splitting the pane up so that we can view multiple files in a single interface. In order to achieve this effect, we need to drop down the view menu, go to panes and then select split right. We will now have two panes, one to the left and one to the right. Now I'm going to click back onto the left hand side pane and then drop down the view menu, go to panes and say split down. Now we have two panes to the left and one pane to the right. The top left pane will be SCSS, the bottom left plane will be SAS, and the right hand pane will be CSS. So firstly, I'm going to click in the top left hand pane and press Command S or Control S on Windows and GNU, and we're gonna save this file as scss.scss. Once we've saved it, you'll notice we get the tree view that comes up to the left hand side. I want to disable this tree view. So I'm going to drop down the view menu and say toggle tree view. Next, we'll focus on the bottom left pane and set up a new document by pressing command N on OS X or control N on Windows or GNU. Then close the scss.scss tab on the bottom left pane. Now we can save our newly created document as sas.sas. And finally, the right hand side pane, we're going to press Command N to open up a new document. And then we're going to close the SCSS tab. And then we're going to save this as CSS.CSS. Now we have our environment set up, it's time to place in some SCSS, convert it to SAS, and view the output. So, firstly, I'm going to open up the terminal. Now the terminal by default is looking at the users directory and I've saved all of these files onto the desktop. So we need to say CD desktop. Now we've got the terminal focused on the right directory. We need to take our SCSS file, watch it for any changes and automatically convert it to CSS when a change has been saved. So the way we do this is we evoke SAS, we tell it to watch, we tell it to watch the scss.scss file. So after the colon, we say convert it to css.css. Then I want to set the style to expanded because I like my code to be nice and clean when I'm demonstrating this to you. And finally, I'm going to set the source map option to none as we won't be using the source map in this course. Now I can hit return, it'll watch that SCSS file, I can minimize the terminal window so it's running in the background, I can paste in some SCSS and save the file and automatically see the CSS outputted. Now for the last little bit, I want to convert SCSS into SAS. So I'm going to open up the terminal window and then I'm going to press Command N to open up another terminal window and minimize the previous one. And now we need to again CD to the desktop. And then we need to take a look at SAS hyphen convert. Then we convert the scss.scss file into the sas.sas file. And unfortunately, we can't watch the SCSS file and automatically convert it to SAS. So every time you want to convert SCSS to SAS, you will have to type this command in. And you know that we can just press the up arrow and go through the history of our commands. And we can just press the up arrow, hit return real quick and convert it. Now, please do note with every lecture beyond this point, we'll have a source file located and you can download it and it will contain 
the SCSS, the SAS file, and also the outputted CSS file. Now, regardless of whether we're talking about SCSS or SAS, they both produce exactly the same CSS code. There is no difference in the output, but the way that we write SCSS and SAS is a little bit different. Now, first of all, I want to make very clear that there is no difference feature-wise to do with SCSS or SAS. They both have the same feature set, such as variables, mixins, selector inheritance, and more. The only difference is the syntax between the two. So we have the SCSS, which resembles more closely the CSS syntax as the name suggests. SAS is a little bit different where it omits certain things. So for example, you can see with our variable declaration, we have an ending semicolon, a lot like a CSS property where you have an ending semicolon. Also, we do have ending semicolons for each property within SCSS. Also, you'll notice that we encapsulate all of the CSS properties within a selector via the parentheses with SCSS. Again, that's closely resembling the CSS syntax, and I prefer this syntax, but it's just my preference. However, with SAS, it omits the ending semicolon, and also you'll notice with our selectors, it gets rid of the opening and closing parentheses, so we don't encapsulate our CSS properties to do with the selector in parentheses. But however, please do note that with SAS, indentation is everything. If I did not indent that CSS property, you will find that it will error when it tries to produce a CSS. It's all to do with indentation. Now, me personally, that sort of makes things harder to read, and I prefer SCSS, and partly because I've been a CSS programmer for many, many years, but it's entirely up to you which syntax you choose, but please do note they will produce exactly the same code. So there we have it. Our environment is now set up.